sit back and relax because the word of the Lord is going to be of a great plus to you through his servant, Apostle Joshua Selman. God bless you. Let it be so that all doors open. Let it be so that I rise to realms unhindered. Let it be so in the name of Jesus that every closed door opens. Hear me. How do you know that a door has opened? Restraint is lifted. How do you know that a door has opened? Movement is now secured. The hindrance is taken away. Restrictions in ministry. Restrictions in your home. Restrictions in your finances. Restrictions even in your spirit walk. Can I tell you the truth? Hear me ladies and gentlemen. Just because God has spoken I told you. Does not mean it will happen. My Bible is full of many things that God said that did not come to pass. Because those he said it to thought he was joking. The Bible says there remaineth a rest for the people of God. Is that true? It says that in the day that you hear his voice, harden not your hearts like they did in the wilderness. Don't hear what God is saying and say nonsense. It may not happen. And don't make the foolish decision that the man in Samaria, who the king leans upon, said uh, even if the, the God will open the windows of heaven, might this thing be? For some of you in the place of prayer, God will tell you that January will not come to an end until you are laughing already. And you may not believe him because you look at your life surrounded with pain and shame and everything. Every time you are tempted to doubt, remind yourself who spoke. If it's just your neighbor or your friend who spoke, or an unserious man of God who is not serious with the matters of the spirit, then you may be afraid. But if it's the God of heaven who spoke, go and find out the things that he said that people believed and find out whether it did not come to pass. He said, by this time tomorrow, we discussed this last year, by this time tomorrow, hallelujah, we are going to engage prophecy in a few minutes. We are going to pray seriously. Do not let the devil distract you. It is in this prayer that your faith is released to be on course for the many great things. As a ministry, we have so many things. This year, by God's grace, we are doing conferences in UK. We are doing conferences in Canada and the US. There are many other things that we are doing. We will be announcing them um, when we are done praying, we just do a bit of housekeeping before we are done. So those of you, I think we are starting with UK. Those of you in the United Kingdom, just prepare. We are coming with the power and the life of Jesus like you have never seen. And um, we are going to get the links and then we will give it to you so that when it's time we will start doing the registration. So make sure that your loved ones all across the United Kingdom, you know, London, um, all of the, the parts around London, Scotland, everywhere you around Europe, including neighboring European countries, we are going to be converging there and lifting up the banner of the power, the grace of Jesus Christ, even across Europe. Under our watch, Europe will not be lost. In the name of Jesus Christ, revival comes with fire and with grace. And for the U.S., God has granted us open doors and we're coming there with power and grace. Power and grace to make our contributions as far as the prophetic manifestation of revival across the nations are concerned. And by the way, before we pray, I hope and trust that God will, I, I hope that God will grant me, um, I hope that, that I know that he's granted the grace and, and I'm saying this so that we all pray. I trust God for grace to do a lot of African nations this year. There is such a burden God has planted. In fact, even sincerely, even more than Europe and the U.S. and uh, several of these continents, there is such a hunger. I have emails and emails of Macedonian calls from across several African nations 
Um, I don't want to mention names, but I'm, I'm hoping that we'll be able to, for some of the nations, we've already given them word if they can come together and structure something serious. The challenge sometimes with many nations is that there's a lot of disorganization and um, it may not be able to work that way. So this may be a teaser already for some nations and for a few of the nations um, who are being hosted by the governments of the nations graciously. And so we're more than glad to lead them to their national days of prayer and all of the similar activities. There's a lot this year. We'll come up with that, hopefully, maybe during the miracle service next week. By the way, our first miracle service for 2023 is coming next week, Sunday. And it is going to be, look, it's going to be open doors all the way. In the name of Jesus Christ, open doors all the way. You will know truly that there is a God that sits in heaven. Hallelujah. God may look deceptfully slow, but when he decides to rise, when God decides to rise for your family, your ministry, your life, this year God is going to be placing glory and honor on people. You would see God place his hand that men will be called Beulah and Hephzibah. It, it will be clear that the hand of God has rested upon your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now, while we're praying, we're going to pray. Let me just give two instructions very quickly. Number one, there is the open door sticker. Let me just have it very quickly. <laughs> Hallelujah. I just want to bless it. Now, we did a few things. We're not selling anything and if everything is absolutely free. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. So this, this is my seed to the global family, Koinonia Global. We made, we, made, um, we made some exercise books like this to give, especially our children. We want our children to learn. No dull child will remain. You may come however you want, but provided you are here, in the name of Jesus, the mind of Christ must find expression. Our Koinonia children are not non-entities who are raising kings and queens. In the name of Jesus. And please, it's important for every parent, speak this into your children. All these negative demonic words, the error for them is over. Don't program rubbish into the destiny of your children. Hallelujah. So this is what... Uh, the um the jotters look like we'll give as many uh, two designs beautifully designed but this is the one we have the open doors um the sticker and then jesus revealed jesus glorified <laughs> hallelujah then we have this now everybody here is going to be given to each um, while you are praying for sake of time as soon as I bless this please all have you been given already okay so let me just say this my apologies this I'm taking from our prayer time please a year of open doors is also a year to be to heed to instructions and to behave well if already from the beginning of the year you are working in disobedience you already know that you are programming failure because in the body of Christ no matter sometimes I don't know how well let me assume that that it is is different your case is different in Jesus name Amen. while you are praying the ushers will be passing this whatever they give to you just collect and focus on me and focus on Jesus don't look around saying there's somebody mm -mm, leave that one there is a where we're an organized ministry for God's sake and then our international people were sending some across the US UK so please be patient it, hallelujah be very patient those are international guests who are here some of them who are appoint people across certain nations will give a few copies look this is not about idolizing people have idolized speakers their stickers and all of that um, this does not carry any power on its own this is just a system we can bless it of course and it can carry the power of the Holy Spirit like I'm about to do 
but you know more than this it will be an insult to all you have learned to suddenly begin to idolize stickers and books and all of that now that does not mean that you can not use it as a point of contact to con to to connect by faith but i'm saying this up front because sometimes in a bid to show honor it turns to idolatry and the life and the power that should come from it is thrown away you see there are some of you if you want to run out and you forget this you run back and no please no. i'm not i'm not mocking i'm not being sarcastic but i'm just telling you that god has granted us access to superior spiritual intelligence this is for your edification and of course it is a prophetic standpoint a, a prophetic um, medium uh, handkerchiefs and aprons were brought to the body from the body of peter and so you'll be surprised that this by faith will heal someone but the point is whatever happens just know that this is revealing jesus and if it fails to reveal jesus and the only person it reveals is joshua selman or koinonia then we failed we are only tools jesus is the one who should be revealed and glorified are we together but having said that nothing leaves this altar ordinary that i can tell you you ask the devil after you receive this you you can be sure that in the name of jesus within the boundary of scripture you can be sure that god will anoint you to work wonders so can we pray together stretch your hands and let's just speak over this as a family of faith father in the name of jesus you have granted us the privilege to do this we release it to koinonia global and to the body of christ we pray that it will draw many to jesus and lord that it will please you to use it as platforms for healings deliverances in very tremendous ways we thank you in the name of jesus christ and by the privilege of god's grace we dedicate this in the name of the father of the son and of the holy spirit all right so god bless you please ushers um you can begin to give it around let we'll do it in an orderly manner please when yours comes to you just receive and then be patient if for any reason we have more than enough more than enough more than enough at least for now the first set of the production is already about thirty-two thousand. so be patient everybody is going to get i know that some of you may want to get for some other people no problem at the end of the service you can politely make a request with the ushers or the pr and they will help you and then for those who may will you want to carry it and give people please do not sell there is nothing here that is not the jotters not the exercise books there is nothing that is for sale everything is being paid for it is my gift jesus through me to you that are we together so i'm saying this right now we will not fail to take any decisive action once we hear that people are trying to take advantage of people's liberty it shouldn't be and i believe azaria family by the way let's appreciate azaria family they are connecting right away and um so we're going to pray now praise god are you ready to pray Blessed be the name of the Lord. Go. Go. Do well to share this video to your loved ones, family members, friends, all around, so that the light of the Lord that has come your way will get to someone else also through you, and that through you will be a mighty blessing to others. God bless you so much. Thank you.